Sometimes when cropping an image of a deep sky object, it can have some of the background left over An easy way to fix this is by using the spot healing brush tool rather than cropping out some of the image. You can change the brush size up here where the circle is with the brush size under it by clicking the arrow and changing the pixel size of the brush. Then by holding down the brush and dragging the desired area to be fixed, it will now blend better with the background. In this image as well, there are a bunch of colored pixels on the edge of this image. Rather than cropping out the edge and losing some of the data, the spot healing brush tool can also fix this. Just drag to the area that you would like to fix and it has no problem getting rid of those pixels and blending them into the background. I often do this step before I begin processing my image fully, before I add color enhancements, before I enhance the details. I like to process out the imperfections before I make major changes to the image. On the left side of the image, the colored pixels are also visible and need to be fixed. Although we get up into greater detail here, the spot healing brush tool usually does not have a problem with nebulous areas in an image or areas of a galaxy. Be aware that sometimes it does duplicate structures, and in this case, sometimes you can edit them out, or sometimes you just have to be a little more careful about the areas you choose. For instance, if it duplicates an area, I usually click on the area again and it disappears. If it does not disappear or seems to have trouble matching the background, I might select a little less of the circle rather than putting the full circle on my area and just trying my best to get rid of any duplicated or areas that don't match. Also be cautious when you are editing the nebulous areas of an image or parts of a galaxy or an area with a lot of detail. Sometimes, as in here, it does get rid of those pixels, but it also can create structures that are not present in the actual data. If you want to be as scientifically accurate as possible, you can also change the pixel size of the brush to a much smaller one to encapsulate just the areas where these colored pixels are. But for now, I just use the Spot Healing Brush tool in Photoshop to get rid of the hot pixels. If there are also these colored pixels, as in here, in the middle of the image, I can again use that small brush size to get the individual pixels to not mess too much with the actual structure of the nebula.